some videos from DC 10, um, which look really interesting in terms of the difference in people that go to these sort of events. Um, that's one of the only things I think I'm not really a fan of, like the segregation when it comes to dance and electronic music, because everyone I'm going to go visit or the people that I would go, I'm going to go hang out with in Berlin when I eventually go, they're the type of people who don't think these people are cool, right? They kind of look down on them. There's a kind of, there's a weird kind of like raving hierarchy because you go to Fold or something or because you go to the course or because you go to Griesmüller or because you go to Else or you go to a flipping um, party that Cobosio is playing at or you go to a Ponceptu or you go to a Crossbreed um uh, or you go to Heran, how you pronounce that word, right? Those are kind of seen as way cooler than going to like a night in Cafe 1001 or the Village Underground or that kind of stuff. And I don't really understand why, because this is still the same sort of avenue, I'd say the same sort of platform or the same sort of arena or sector that would make people more open-minded and just kind of, um, what do you say, called open-minded and receptive to people from different walks of life and different sort of interest. Yes, don't get me wrong, the crowd is a little bit, basic bitchy and maybe a little bit normy but still the fact that these people go out to these sort of events nightclubs and go to follow their favorite dj have a little bit of a dance maybe do a couple of bumps in the toilet drink some drinks you know have you know hug some strangers and hang out it's still a good thing it's still something that we should kind of celebrate regardless of whether or not <laughs> some people from some white converses have been after dc10 what does this guy say it's kind of funny after dc10 over and out <laughs> that's hilarious but yeah um I still think it's a good thing. Yeah, you know I mean, I still think that we are all part of the same kind of. What would you say? We're all part of the same eco ecosystem, world, love, whatever it may be. Right? We're all part of the same thing. So I think we should probably be a little bit more forgiving and loving of each other when it comes to these sort of things. But it is interesting the difference in the people that go to these kind of events vis a vis the people the places that I go, and just the fact that everyone we've all got our dress sense, right? in the techno clubs i go to everybody is dressed in all black um everybody basically looks like they haven't washed everybody is either shaking or you know vibrating for the beats or from doing too much speed and too much kit too much coke or too much ghb in the in the cases of some of the places i go to right um everyone's wearing a pair of double stacked new dr martins or new rock boots or something else wherever and in these sort of venues you've got girls that look like this right they wear these really interestingly slinky kind of cocktail outfits what's that deep drink is that water in a cardboard box oh, interesting right these girls wear these kind of slinky cocktail hour dresses and they go to these kind of venues right usually from what i've seen the girls look far better than the boys they make far more effort in terms of their outfits the lads should usually have a kind of variation of this kind of boy outfit on right it's usually this sort of jean jean shorts with the you know with these jordan ones tied way way too tight um you know that kind of vibe or it's the kind of really flowery shirt with the jean shorts like that, like the kind of funky shirt with the jean shorts on. But yeah, from what I've read, everyone's look at look at look at. Imagine seeing a, a group of girls at this the clubs that I go to. It doesn't it doesn't exist, right? They're all very clean, um, very well manicured, very well height, very well, what's that thing called um, trimmed and all that stuff. You know, it, as gross as that may sound, but you know what I mean. But so far, I've read reports that people have been waiting. Oh, yeah, this is um, DC10 War. I've read reports people have been waiting up to four hours to get in. Um, so it looks like queues exist everywhere from Bergheim to DC10. Um, all the major places that people like to go to have got really long queues. I think the production of it is really nice, though, and all the red lights and shit it looks absolutely amazing. You're kind of being transported to another, to kind of an alternative world. But yeah, look at the queues, man. Look at how insane the fucking queues are at DC10. Absolutely nutty. That looks like a. You know what that looks like? That looks like when a plane emergency lands somewhere and you have to kind of get off on the tarmac and then kind of walk to the airport. Do you know what I mean? That's what it looks like. Or, do you know what I mean? Absolutely wild how long those queues are. And people are willingly waiting. And of course, once they get on the dance floor, they are shaking, dancing. But again, the use of the phones, man, like that's something that you don't see in any of the clubs that I usually go to. Number one, because people are too cool and they don't want to look like they're too extended. It's their first time. And also in some of the places I go to, especially in Berlin, they kind of cover your phone with a sticker so you can't take pictures. So you kind of have to allow yourself to just enjoy the environment and not be too, you know, caught up in recording things so you can share your friends, show your friends and shit, which is always a bit cringe anyway, right? Sharing your friends' pictures of holidays that they didn't go to. It's just like, you know, just describe it over two minutes and just keep it moving. This is a video of girls walking in the entrance to see what this looks like. 
they've got like a ton of things. That's quite cool. I like this installation they've got. They're, they're really cool. They're really um, clever about what they do in terms of creating little spaces and spots so people can do cool little things for their Instagram, in it? Because people might immediately tag them. You know, you've got this kid here waiting until the end to take this great picture, which is always good, right? Because you're the last man or woman on the dance floor. Everyone knows that you kind of, you know, you made it all the way to the end. I was the same group, big group of people. I don't know how people do this, man. Honestly, my friendship, my friend group, now why do they have a friend group this big? And number two, it'd be near or impossible to get all these people to agree on a set time to go out. I don't have it. Like, it doesn't happen in my friendship group. I don't know, maybe you guys do, but I definitely don't have a friendship group that would uh, would allow for that many people to go out at the same time. But it looks rather interesting. I'm not going to lie. Circle Look is rather interesting. So it's open at the moment. Everyone, of course, has seemed to have fun clubbing has come back in some way shape or form um yeah so you know looking forward to the next chapter as we go along but yeah look at the difference in terms of the ladies that go to these places man it's really incredible isn't it it's really really interesting that they'd be i wonder what even attracts girls like this to go to these sort of events is it just or maybe if you to be honest if you're a girl that looks like this right it's just an excuse to look sexy isn't it because you don't really get a chance to look hot and wear outfits like this if you're not going out to a club, where else are you going to wear an outfit like that? Do you know what I mean? Not to a restaurant. Do you know what I mean? So maybe that's the reason. But I wonder why. I wonder if, I wonder if, because again, not, not to be mean, but I wouldn't imagine like a lot of girls are really into what Seth Troxler looks like, especially now. Do you know what I mean? He's, you know, he's piled on the pounds. He doesn't look like he really takes care of himself too much. Or maybe the Michael Bibbies and lot are, the, are like really hot boys and girls really fancy them. I'm not too sure, but I wonder what kind of brings. Okay, she's been there, there with a fella, but I wonder what kind of what what would bring a girl that looked like this to these sort of events? Because you know, in terms of the lads that go there, there's not much for them to choose from, really, in it. Like, you no, know, to be honest, look at them. The guys don't look the best, right? There's not like a, you know, I don't think anyone's falling over themselves to go meet. Uh, you know, this assortment of lads here, right? Savidor. And his friends, I don't think people are really falling over themselves to meet them. But for whatever reason, they all do go out. There's a real, real big contingency of them. I think it'd be about 50-50 split. Again, it's a shame the lineup wise. Oh, look at those pants. Those velvet pink pants in the background. Interesting. It's just a shame that the lineups aren't as interesting as the crowd, right? There should be a lot more girls playing in these sort of places. But again, maybe they don't want to play. They want to hang out in the crowds. Again, there's a Michael Baby taking a picture of the fan. But yeah, interesting people in it that go to these events. And again, uh, it's just a shame that it's, it's so segregated. That's the guy that does um, Circo Loco, right? The one that's friends with um, Ricardo Tishi. I don't know his name. But everyone's obviously getting a picture of him smiling and shit. Probably the team. Probably took him a lot of time to get this organized, isn't it? Bloody hell, man. Bloody hell. But yeah, big up everybody. Hopefully you guys had fun over there, out there. Oh, immediately lens on the dance floor, taking pictures with fans. Boo. Dead out. Um, again, everyone's having a good time. You know that face, and that we've all been there. You know that face too. We've all been there. Pictures with Seth Truxler having a great whale of a time. You've got Loco Dice there. Yeah, cool man. Looks it looks fun. Not gonna lie, it looks fun. Everyone queuing up, having a good time. It looks fun. I would I wouldn't mind going. It's definitely not the my kind of music. Don't get me wrong. Especially this version of Tech House. It's just a bit shit. I preferred the old version of Tech House. Well, no, the older version of Tech House. The early, you know, the kind of when it started to meld into kind of minimal, right? That was what I kind of preferred. Or even going back further than that. But um, whatever this version of Tech House is, just a little bit reductive. I listen to some of those Michael Booby sets, and they're really hit and miss in terms of their overall appeal. Like, look at the difference in people. It's just interesting, isn't it? Right? There's nothing linking people that look like that and people that look like this, right? Apart from the vibes. That's why, again, that's why I say it's so cool. These kind of events, in some regard, because they they look like they should be in more of a, you know, Bergheiny type venue, and this guy looks like he should be at DC Ten, right? They they kind of suit a bit more in that regard. But yeah, cool. Look, even people bring out bring out their kids with them because obviously I be for a lot of people live there and shit. So that's pretty cool to see. Oh, cute little baby there. But yeah, man cool vibes it looks like cool vibes 